Weight loss drugs like Wagovi are the big thing right now. In this video, I'm going to give you, firstly, the complete and utterly politically correct information on it. We're going to cover the side effects, which are very, very important that you understand what the side effects are so that you can make a wise decision of whether you should do this or not. And then I'll give you, in my humble opinion, what I think you should do. And why don't you let me know if you've lost weight naturally, put it down in the description, I'm sorry, the uh, comment section, and let me know what's worked for you because this kind of boils my blood because yesterday, I had four patients telling me about this and I'm going to tell you the story about it. The first is, first patient tells me they went to a chiropractor who specializes in weight loss and uh, was going to charge $6,000 up front for this drug. And I thought, are you flipping kidding me? Uh, wait, I'm supposed to do the politically correct thing first. I'm sorry. Let's backtrack. I'll get to the story later on because this really bug boils my blood. Should you take this drug? The answer is, if you're even asking this question, the answer is probably yes. The reason why is because the amount of weight that you have on your body is probably more unhealthy than the actual drug that you're injecting into your body. So the health risks for being overweight, it's so hard on your heart, it's so hard on your liver, it's so hard on your pancreas. Your blood pressure is just not gonna be controlled if you're, you know, 350 pounds. And I have a lot of patients that are 350 pounds. So should, you, should they do it? Well, on paper, politically correct, Yes, they should do anything necessary to lose weight. It doesn't, doesn't matter what uh, the side effects are. It doesn't matter what health consequences of the drugs are because the negative effects of being severely overweight are not as bad as what potentially this drug is. Now let's get to the real deal. What are the side effects? I'm going to read to you, and I got this from the website. So this isn't me making this crap up. Uh, but let's list the side effects that probably I will be uh, finding out. I'm going to be treating some of these, by the way. Uh, here we go. Ready? Nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, constipation. I love it when they say diarrhea and constipation. It's like one or the other. Whatever is going to happen, you're going to be plugged up for a while and then it's going to explode, right? Abdominal pain, headaches. This is one that patients are gonna probably be coming to me going, oh, I got headaches. Well, guess what? I can't adjust your spine to make headaches go away that are side effects from a chemical. So tiredness, that's another one. People are gonna, sure they're gonna lose weight, but they're gonna be really tired. Upset stomach, dizziness, this is another one. So imagine a 350 pound patient comes in you and says, I'm getting dizzy. What's the first thing you should think of as a doctor? Is this person having a stroke? You check their blood pressure, the blood pressure's through the roof, send them to the emergency room. So, and it turns out it'll probably be a side effect from this. Being bloated, that's always funny to me because we're trying to lose weight. Belching, <laughs> gas, stomach flu, that's weird but uh, susceptibility to stomach flu, heartburn, runny nose, sore throat. Fascinating, huh? So what this drug does is it has an effect on a hormone that's in your stomach called GLP-1. And when they inject this drug, what's likely going to happen is you are going to feel full. Your body is going to constantly feel full. You're not going to want to eat because you're always going to feel uh, the satiety as if you already ate. This hormone, this GLP-1, is normally released from our body after a meal when we eat. And so if you can stimulate your body to think it's full, then the idea is you won't be putting as much stuff into your pie hole, less calories, you lose weight. That's kind of the idea. So can we get into the, in my humble opinion stuff, the I-M-H-O? Here we go. So I told you this story about this chiropractor in our town that's selling the drug. And quite frankly, I don't understand. There's gotta be some loophole. He probably hires a medical doctor in his office. He's got a nurse in there to do the injections. Fine with me, but 
He's charging six grand for it. And I'll tell you what, I know for a fact he's probably really busy. A lot of my patients now are starting to see him for this. Uh, if I were you, I would go to a medical doctor. This is just my humble opinion, but I would go to a medical doctor if I'm gonna be put on this drug, and there's a number of reasons why. Number one, drugs interfere with one another. So if you're on a diabetes medication, if you're on a drug for uh, your liver, if you're on a drug for your kidney, if you're on headache drugs, if you're on this drug, that drug, you wanna know how the drugs interact with other drugs. There are some good medical doctors out there, but there's also bad ones. There's, you know, every profession has that. We all have good and bad. Same with my profession. And uh, so far what I've noticed through the grapevine is doctors are handing this drug out like M&Ms at Halloween. I don't think they're really worried about interactions, but they should be, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. But go to a medical doctor to get the drug. This patient that went to the chiropractor and was told $6,000 ended up going to her primary care doctor and found out that it's $1,400 um, because her insurance does not cover it. Her particular insurance does not cover it. Now your insurance company may cover it. In this particular case it wasn't and she found out it was $1,400 out of pocket per month per month in order to feel full. So they do the injection and for an entire month your stomach feels full as if you just ate. So the again, idea, you're eating less calories. Now in just a moment I'm gonna tell you my solution to this of which I'm gonna guarantee you that 99% of people are not gonna do because it just isn't fun and the controversies of, about this. But does anybody remember FenFen? What was the reason why FenFen kind of fell off the market. I'm not gonna tell you in this video. Go ahead and Google it or put it in the comments if you actually know. Well, no, nah, I'm not gonna be a jerk about it. FenFen was killing people. Sure, you were losing weight, but FenFen had an effect, I believe, it was a long time ago, but on our serotonin levels, and it started to destroy our heart and our endothelial lining of the arteries. So people were on FenFen, it was a very effective drug to lose weight, but then all of a sudden people started having cardiovascular disease, severe cardiovascular disease, dying from it until FenFen had its negative uh, publicity and now you can't even get FenFen. I remember FenFen because it was kind of funny that when FenFen was taken off the market in America, because we're in Southern California, People were going down to Mexico, crossing the border to get illegal FenFen because it was still available there. Now think about that. The FDA, and it takes a lot for the FDA to take a drug off the market. The FDA says we can't allow people to use this drug because it's destroying your heart and your arteries. You're going to have a heart attack and people going, eh, hey, I lost weight. I'm going down across the border to another country to get the drug illegally and transport it across the border, which is not illegal. Well, nobody cared, to be honest. But you remember FenFen. I remember FenFen. Here's what I predict will happen, and I'm not saying this is going to happen. I hope that it doesn't, but this drug is going to come on strong in the market. You've got every doctor prescribing this drug like it's candy at Halloween. Here's what's gonna happen. For the first year, it's gonna boom. It's gonna be a number one sales for the company that makes the drug. Then what's gonna happen is we're gonna start hearing reports about some negative effects, worse than the side effects I just read to you. There are some side effects that probably aren't being reported right now, maybe pushed underneath the rug. You hope to God that the pharmaceutical companies aren't doing that, but they kind of have a history of doing that, saying, finding that there was a side effect, but they hush hush it, got it on the market, made billions, paid the $100 million fine, but they still made a profit. You know what I'm talking about. But this drug will come on strong. It'll stay strong for about a year, maybe a year and a half, People will start reporting that they lost a ton of weight, 
But then after a year and a half, you're going to hear the stories. I lost weight, but as soon as I stopped, I gained the weight back even more or worse. There's going to be some negative side effects to our heart, to our kidneys, to our liver, to our brain. Whatever, it, whatever happens, we don't know right now, but that's my, in my humble opinion, the prediction. So what should you do? What is the solution to this? I have two solutions. One is how to get rich and one is how to lose weight. One is easier than the other. It's to invest. If I were me, <laughs> if I were you, if I was an investor, I would have done this a while ago, but I would suggest investing in the company that makes this product because you know for a fact that if you're going to follow the second recommendation that I'm going to give you and you had an option to take a, just an injection once a month, nine out of 10 people are going to do the drugs. People love drugs as much as maybe you don't love a drug and I don't like taking drugs. Many people are going to take a drug and they've lost hope when it comes to losing weight. So this is a natural, it's not a natural solution. It's a convenient solution. So buy stock. If you have $200, if you have $500, if you have a thousand dollars, 10,000, put all your eggs into this basket. Now in nine months before the S hits the fan, what's going to happen is you're going to take that $500 and it's now going to be worth 20 and you're going to be so excited for your retirement fund and you're going to think to yourself, oh, let's let it ride. It keeps going up. Let's, let's figure out if we can make it 30,000, 40,000. You're going to become rich. That's when you sell. Don't wait for the S to hit the fan. Sell it when it's at the top. And I'm telling you, most of these drugs, they get hot for a year and then all of a sudden they take a nosedive and then you've lost all your money. So number one, invest. Number two, sell at the appropriate time. The second suggestion that I have is for more long-term weight loss. We always talk about what you shouldn't eat. Don't eat processed foods. Don't eat sugar. Don't eat carbs. But no one tells you actually what to eat and what to do. So here's my simple solution. Number one, <laughs> Start eating breakfast. And I know you're pissed at this because you think that intermittent fasting is going to work for you. And for many people it does. And the reason it does is because you stop putting food in your pie hole and you just stop putting those calories in. But I'm telling you, if you're a breakfast person, start eating breakfast. What should you eat? Two eggs. If you're a heavy person, three eggs. Eat the yolks. Eat them hard boiled. Eat them poached. Eat them fried. Eat, fry them in olive oil or natural butter, but eat three eggs or two eggs for breakfast. For lunch, eat chicken, meat, any type of beef, fish, anything that floats your boat with vegetables. Whatever vegetable is in season, you could eat broccoli, you could eat green beans, and I actually have people down in the comments section that say broccoli, well broccoli's full of sugar. Then keep believing that. But I'm telling you, this is one solution and it works for pretty much everyone. If you had a piece of chicken that was the size of your palm and the thickness of your palm, cut off the fingers right here and cut the wrist, right, don't cut your wrist, cut the wrist off right here. And this is the size of the meat that you're going to eat. This much thickness and this size, about three to four ounces of chicken. And then the rest of your plate is full of broccoli, green beans, peas, whatever type of vegetable you want to eat. For dinner, you do the same exact thing. You eat vegetables and you eat chicken, fish, beef, pork, fish, whatever. Okay, That's how you do it. In addition to that, seven days a week, and I will say six to be nice, but seven days a week, try to exercise for at least a half an hour. What can you do? If you're 350 pounds, you're going to have a hard time exercising. Can you walk? Can you get on an exercise bicycle where you're a reclined? You're sitting down and just pedaling. Can you get some activity that can raise your heart rate up to a certain rate so that you're getting good cardiovascular exercise seven days a week if you can do a half an hour? That's bare minimum. 
if you, as you get stronger and as you get healthier, you can start to do some type of calisthenics or weight training, but that's really just icing on the cake. The recipe for long-term health management is controlling the food that you eat so that you eat healthy foods, natural foods, you can call it whole foods, but eat stuff that is healthy and you know what healthy is. Then exercise. The third thing, and this is something that some of you may need to get under control, is go to your doctor, your primary care doctor, and get a complete blood count and check all your hormones. If you've hit menopause or menopause, or your adrenal glands are shot or you're starting to become diabetic, you need to get this managed in order to help you because even if you eat right and exercise, sometimes there might be a knife in your back and that knife is diabetes. Your, your pancreas is not functioning well and that is something that you can do and that is the healthiest, cheapest, most long-term way to keep weight under control. And lastly, here's the point that really boils my blood is some of these patients that come into my office and I'm not blowing smoke here. Do you realize that you're already good looking? That you're okay? This drug company that's marketing this drug for obesity, a lot of people that are going to get this drug already, they don't need to lose 200 pounds. They need to lose five or 10 at most. Stop thinking that there's this ideal that you can be super thin. It's not necessary to be healthy. You can, I'm not, and I'm not talking about, you know, this idea that I'm 300, five, I'm 350 pounds and I'm beautiful the way I am. I'm talking about people that have normal weight that have unrealistic expectations of how to lose weight. This is something nobody wants to talk about because it's too politically or uh, woke or it, it divides people. What I'm saying is if you are happy the way you are, you can be happy no matter what weight you're, you are. It doesn't, the weight doesn't matter. People get so upset at the number on a scale when in fact, are you healthy? Is your blood sugar good? Is your cholesterol good? Are your hormones good? Do you have the energy during the course of a day to do all the activities that you want to do? If you're five pounds heavier than what you really want to be, this is no reason to go on an injectable drug that's really designed for people that need to lose 200 pounds. But what I'm noticing is in our community that there are numerous types of doctors that are willing to take your money because you think that losing weight will make you happy. The drug is really designed for people that their weight is out of control and it's unmanageable and they're not going to do the things I just mentioned. That's who the drug is for. It's not to lose that extra five pounds before a graduation. It's not to be used for young people. It's to be used for people that are going to die soon. They're going to have a heart attack. They're going to have a stroke soon if they don't lose the weight quickly. That's why in the beginning that I mentioned that these drugs are really designed to not make you healthy and to not lose weight long term. It's really designed so that to control the, your weight because your weight is such a health risk that it's worth risking all the side effects and all the negative effects that we're probably going to see, in my humble opinion, in about one year. And remember the most important lesson of this video, sell. 
Today's video sponsor is Mother Good Earth, and they are a great company because they are, first of all, sponsoring this video, and second of all, they have the greatest minerals ever, and they have a philosophy of minerals come from the earth, so where do you get it from the earth? And so watch what I'm gonna do here. We're just gonna go down. It rained the other day. You just take a nice cup here and just scoop up some mud, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this Mother Earth with water and drink it to get all the minerals that come from the Earth. So you can see I just mixed it with water and all the chunky goodness is in there. Beautiful for minerals. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Screw this, I don't need the money. No more sponsorship. Okay guys, good news. I have a new sponsor, Buy Optimizers, and they have Magnesium Breakthrough. This actually I do use. I take two tablets at nighttime. It helps me sleep. It's got seven different minerals. Now, of course Mother Earth supplies minerals in the dirt, but it needs to come into the vegetables. And if the soil isn't good, if you're not eating organic vegetables, you're not getting as many minerals as you really should be. So that's why I take two tablets. It's got 500 milligrams of magnesium in it, and it's got seven different types of magnesium. I, the reason I take this is for a number of reasons. It regulates my blood pressure. It keeps my heart healthy, which is an endurance athlete I really want. And it helps me sleep. It's easy on the stomach, easy to digest, no digestive trouble, and this is actually a sponsor that I could stand by. Oh man, who's gonna clean up these chunks? 